we all just started from the bottom. We all had to get up, get our defense ready. We knew defense would be the key going into this section because our coach said if any team makes the error, it will cost them in the end, and it ended up costing all the teams. Because against Huntington North, they had three errors from the start, and we took the lead on them. And that's all we needed to win the games. Homestead, they made errors, and it cost them the game too. And we just really focused, executed our plays. That's all we had to do. Uh, you're on the mound. You threw a complete game. What was the feeling like that final out against Homestead? Realized, hey man, we're back to back sectional champs. It was very big. I didn't. It was a big game. I didn't even think it would happen. I feel like Drake started from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah. Um, when you take a look at uh, this Southside team um, at the beginning of the season, what were some of the things you weren't doing, and what are some of the things that you are now doing that's allowed you to get to this point? Our defense. In the beginning of the year, we made errors every game. We just had more than three errors, four errors every game. Going into this section, we only had one error, and we knew what that error was, but it didn't play a big factor in our game. We still kept up with it. Um, when you take a look at this team, what do you guys have to do well going forward? Obviously, the competition gets harder as you go along, uh, but Hamilton Southeastern up at regionals, uh, what do you have to do well this weekend to pull out some victories? We know our defense has to be key again like it was in sectionals last weekend. And we know we have to execute every play we get. If we have to bunt, we have to bunt them over. we got to play small ball to win games. What does it mean to win sectional championships back-to-back? -back? I mean, they're, heading into last season, you guys had only won one sectional championship in program history. Now you've got back-to-back -back sectional championships. That is very big. I would, it's something you can never forget. You won sectionals two years in a row. Not many people could say they have won sectionals two years in a row. Do you feel like you guys embrace the underdog role? Yes, we do a lot. Because we know... From, no one thinks we're going to win no games this season. No one's going to think we're going to beat Huntington North. No one's going to think we'll beat Homestead. And look, we beat them both years in a row. You guys finished last in the you guys finished last in the SAC standings. Yet now you are the last team standing from the SAC. What does that mean to you? That is very big because everybody they just never have no confidence in us, and we just prove the whole some athletic conference that we are the team to beat when it comes to playing for a, a big game.